Hello there everybody, good day to you. Welcome back. Glad you guys are here. This is a 2016 Ford Transit van. It's an air conditioning service van. Lots of Transit vans are AC service vans. Customer states, replace front lower control arms and they have supplied their own parts. You can see here we've got some Motorcraft lower control arms. Part number Mike Charlie Foxtrot 2500. It comes with a new bushing and another new bushing and a hole in it to accommodate the ball joint. So it looks like we've got a left and a right side here. Let's go ahead and get this thing scooted up. We'll put it on the rack. We'll lift it up and uh, we'll get the front wheels off and see what the uh, lowers are looking like. I have yet to inspect this car. Don't know what's going on. Haven't seen it, but uh, we're going to get it apart and find out. So stay tuned because this it's gonna be a very good video. Oh, wait a minute, fail, I almost forgot. This particular transit happens to have 188,285 miles on the odometer. There we go. Let's go ahead and pull this thing forward. Starting the engine. There we go, it does have some warning indicators that are indicated. The message on the dash says, hill start assist not available. It's got a tire pressure warning light. It's got a squiggly out of control car and it's got the service engine soon indicator illuminated. I'm probably going to address all that stuff uh, at a later time, but as for right now, we're just gonna go ahead and knock out what they came in for, get these hard parts changed out down below, uh, and then we can go ahead and look into uh, the other issues that are plaguing this uh, particular Ford Transit. Let's go ahead and scoot her on in. Looks like I'm going to have to use my maximum capacity here to get this all the way forward. There we go. That's pretty good. I think we're good out back. All right, I'll take that. This is a pretty long one, so we're a little bit farther forward than we, we normally would be. I could put it over on the big lift. I may. Well, we'll see. If it racks up, I can do it right here. If it does not rack up, we'll do it on the big rack over there. The back of it is empty. There's very little equipment back there. Uh, powering down. If the uh, cargo area on this van were full, I would not uh, attempt to do this on the smaller size rack just for safety purposes. But since uh, she's not loaded, I think it'll be okay. All right, and there's not a chance of getting this thing racked up on this rack with uh, these, uh, these lift pads right here. So I am gonna have to move this up. Uh, to the big rack. Hang on a second. Okie dokes. I kicked the rack in, kind of got it set up. Let's take a peek at how we had to maneuver this thing in here. That's really the only lift point we have is this uh, piece of structure right here. Way out back, I managed to get the lift arm right under the leaf spring, so that's a good solid foundation. And that's pressed in as far as it goes on both sides, so I think we're good to go ahead and raise it on up. Then we can see what's going on with those, uh, those control arms. So let's find out. Green subscribe button. Let's see what she does. Moving on up. Is it safe? Is it stable? I don't think so. I don't know. Yeah, it looks okay. Looks okay back there. Let's give it a shake here. Alright. I think it's okay. Let's give it a shake here. Okay, and how's all this stuff looking? Not the greatest, but I'll live with it. Alrighty, so I rethought my battle plan on racking this right here. Uh, I just didn't really like it. That is round and it was concerning me, so I extended these and put them over here on the inside of the cross member. Uh, the rear one stayed in the same position, so I think now we're safe. Let's go ahead and run this thing up, get the wheels off, and let's take a peek at our control arm bushings and see what we have going on here. Moving on up. All right, looking good right here. Let's go ahead, pull our hubcaps. The hubcaps pull themselves. Let's go ahead and pull our hubcaps and get the wheels off. Let's see if that other one is uh, equally damaged. What do we got here? Oh, that one's good, okay. And it's time for impact gun cam. Send it. Or reverse send it. Unsend it. Nice. One 
more. All right. Look, they gave us a little workbench. Well, that's cool. I believe this used to be a, a ex U haul van. See the, the side steps? I think those were unique to U hauls. Or ex U hauls. Unclickages. Nice. You guys go there. Stay. You come with me. Ooh, that's not good. See that? There's a separation in the tire. Recommend tires. And alignment. Oh, it's heavy too. You go down there. Let's see what we've got to uh, to work with here. Let's pull our other wheel off. Let's see what treasures lie beneath. Oh, these are heavier than they look. I can't one hand them. Not okay. It's a big old steelies. Oh. All right, let's cruise on in here. See what we're looking at. And yep, that is a destroyed lower control arm bushing. Look at that thing. It's supposed to be attached and it's not. Okay, let's go check out the other side real quick. Like, we're just confirming. Well, that was not so bad. It is starting to tear apart though. See right there on the edges, right here and right here. Not horrible like that one side, but it's still, that's pretty junk. Okay, this is good. Let's go ahead and get this thing unbolted, disconnected, removed, and then we'll swap the new units in. Well, now, look at here. This is an interesting feature. See, there's the control arm bolt down in that hole, but it seems to have this giant armor plate looking thing right here that captures that bolt, and you can't get to the bolt. See that? Like, it's in there, and I can't get it, so I need to remove this, uh, support beam bracket thing which is kind of two bolts here then when we come up here that bracket is sandwiched in between this piece of panel which is behind that piece of panel well this is dumb it's not fun at all okay well we got to take that off so let's figure out how to get this uh this piece of armor plating or whatever off of here and then i can try to get a hold of that control arm bolt the back bolt's easy, and the ball joint's pretty easy looking so far. But, uh, yeah, that thing's, that's, uh, I guess that's the challenge on this job. So let me grab a 13 and a little impact and see what I can't do about getting this thing out of this hole right here. All right, well, the best place to start's from the beginning, and we know we gotta get this off, so let's get these bolts out. Loud noises, 13 in action. Uh, it flexed, see that? Interesting. All right, so looking left, got a couple more up in that hole over there. Let's get some light on the subject. Pop these guys loose. Come here. Nope. Switch it out to the extendo socket. Okay. Two more. Another one where we can't see. All right, so this thing's gonna come out. It should just slide right out, I think, right? Better. It's all the bolts off, so it's loosey-goosey. This is a very interesting Kind of design thing they got going on here okay so this uh this business is removed that's our little support beam bracket looking deal and that gives us access to our bolt here i wonder what the purpose of that is crumple zone the bumper bracket good yeah okay well regardless we got a hold of our bolt so now let's go ahead and break our ball joint loose then we can unbolt these two bolts and then swap these control arms out. All right, let's get our big nut here. That's a 30 millimeter or one and three sixteenths. Loud noises on clicks. Oh, super loud. All right, let's get the puller out. 
All right, puller coming in, and I hope this one works because this is probably gonna be the only one that fits. This is a huge ball joint, and I don't have ball joint tools this large, so if it doesn't hang on to this little flange right here, I'm gonna be up some kind of a creek. Yeah, that's scary. Let's get this thing tightened down and put some torque on it and see what happens. All right, here we go, moment of truth. Let's apply some torquage here. Oh, oh, come on, it came right out, look at that. That was easy. I thought that was gonna be like this huge, giant explosion of parts separating and the thing just came right off. Man, that's twice I built this thing up and it failed to deliver something dramatic. Come on. All right, well, since we're here, let's go ahead and get this bolt out. 21 millimeters, loud noises. Wow. Okay. All right, let's try again with a new battery. Need more torque juice. Okay. Fresh batteries matter. Come out. Bolt. Got it. All right, there's that one and one more out back. All right, let's just uh, scooch on over here and get that last one out right there. Now I can maneuver this unit out of its home here. Loud. And this gun hits. Yeah, that's out. Here I know, we'll fry bar it out with a pickle fork. That's like perfect sized. It's free, but there's so much like side load tension on all these pieces here, it doesn't want to move. Like the thing's unthreaded, it's down to like here. I just can't get it to come out the rest of the way. It's annoying. You know, I'm, I'm thinking my problem here is too much brawn and not enough grain. So let's downsize the brawn some. Got the little impact here. Let's try this. Why don't you want to come out? You know what? There's gotta be some side load or whatever going on with this subframe. So I think what I'm gonna do is go and get that bolt over there loose and maybe the subframe will shift some and it'll stop putting this huge side load on this bolt. It's just stuck on the shank like right here and right here and the thing won't come free. Uh, like I said, it's loose and it moves, but it won't just drop all the way out of there. So let's go over there, take the rest of these bolts out and then see what happens. Maneuver down. Loud noises. All right. Did that help? Did it move? I don't know. Yeah, it seems to be stuck on the control arm. That's what it looks like, because it's, it's free from up there at the top. So why are we stuck here? Um, tell you what, let's get this thing off of this ball joint, pull the ball joint out some, and maybe we can get some play on this control arm to get that, uh, that bolt to come out. I think this thing was in an accident. I think that's what's going on here. It was wrecked once upon a time. All right, control arm, ball joint, pry bar time. Get this guy to come down or not. Let's try it out. Different way here through the hole in the top. You just push it down. There. Okay. 
save that for later. How about now? Now does it want to come out? Sort of. I think. situation I don't know but I don't like it okay so there's clearly some kind of issue going on here because I know that this bolt is out of those threads up there and it's stuck right here in this bushing on this control arm and I'm almost wondering if that thing's bent this thing was in an accident before and that bolt might have been shoved back real hard and now it's bent so I'm gonna try to pull the thing out and I have almost no way of doing that uh, I've got some welding vice grips, okay? Now these are not for stuff like this. These are supposed to clamp like two pieces of metal together so you can get a good weld on it. However, the adjuster on this uh, is a rather large one and it's the only pair of vice grips that I have that happen to fit that adjuster, or at least that I have here. And that adjuster fits onto this adapter right here. I took the little screw out of the, uh, out of the vice grips, put this adapter on it, and then I stuck that onto a slide hammer. See that? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to slide hammer this thing off. So I'll vice grip it on, click, and then maybe with enough tugs on that slide hammer, the thing will come out. I, I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. It moved. Yeah, it barely moved, but something happened. Yeah, this thing is way, way stuck on there. Come on. It's brutal. Is it gonna come out? I would have rather had the ball joint give me a hard time, not this stupid thing. Why? It's not even budging. It's not even moving. Like, at all. Man. Here, let's try the threads again. That bolt's gotta be bent. It's going back up. Let's try it again. I know. Let's put a pole jack under the control arm because this control arm is flexing a bunch and it's getting stuck in the control arm, not, not up here. So let me put a pole jack under here to keep that rigid and solid and then we'll pull it down. Is, this is some BS right here. I feel like I got set up. Well, not really. It's just one of those things, I guess. Put some upward pressure on this bad boy here. See what happens. See how we're lifting the control arm up away from this little plate? Okay. Palm out, pull. Moving? Yeah, I don't know if this thing's moving or not. It's gonna keep hitting it though. It's gotta do something. Nick. 
All right, well, it appears that my efforts to remove this are uh, futile because there is no way that thing's coming out. And we can prove it's stuck on this part right here because there's our threads, see that? Now, there's plenty. See how it works. All right, you see how that turns and it's starting to grip onto the insert in that bushing? It tells me that it's getting hung up at the clearance of that bushing. This thing is bent. It's bent a lot. Like I'm turning it and I'm watching it weeble wobble. And it turns out that the other side over there is even worse. So I've really got no choice, but I, I'm gonna have to cut this thing out just to get this component out of the car. So now I gotta find another bolt. So it's, uh, it's gonna be Saul's all time right here on this bolt. I need to cut it here and then cut it here. That way I can slip this thing out. And once it's out, uh, well, just the new one, no problem. The new bolt will be straight, so I can just put that back in. But I've gotta, I've gotta chop this out. There's no, there's no way around. The slide hammer wouldn't pull it through. Uh, additionally, it's a compromised bolt, so I can't put a compromised bolt back in. All right, next level of escalation, sawzall. Let's cut through this bolt and get this thing out of here. We'll try it from this direction. All right, got through it. So now I need to cut through the other side and then uh, we can get the, uh, the bolt out of there. It's captured by this little lip panel looking thing here on, uh, on the subframe. So I've got to pick that up some and then cut through it on the bottom as well. And drag, the, drag the pole jack back in. Pick it up a little bit and beginning chopping now again. Woohoo, that was violent. Lost my paint. Stop it. there. Woo! Okay, well, bolt's off. Now the control arm's gonna come out at least. Let's get this thing out of here. Come on, control arm. Yeah, that was easy. There we go. All right, here's the aftermath of this hackery. That bolt is, oh, you can see that it's bent. Look, look at the angle that this is pointed right here, straight down, and then look at the angle of the bolt at the top. Like it curves this way. You can see that that bolt is bent. No way. See, there's our, there's our straight line. And then look, it's off at an angle right here. Yeah, that's, uh, that wouldn't come out. So. Alrighty, well now that we seem to have figured out the order of operations here, let's go over to the other side and get this uh, piece of body armor removed and uh, we'll go ahead and do the same thing on that rear bolt because I got a feeling that one's bent too. When I took it loose it seemed to kind of want to wobble a little bit. I actually think that one's worse than the one we just cut out, but uh, I guess we're going to find out. So let's get this thing unbolted. We got six more 13 mil bolts and then this guy comes out and we'll repeat the procedure uh, on the rest of these fasteners to see what happens here. All right, 13's coming out. And uh, next one. Come here, Bolt. The washer reservoir is in the way. Let's push it over. All right, that's two. Third one. Okay, see all this stuff flex and move when I took that loose? It's all been tweaked. Like the whole, everything here, it's all bent up. All right, let's get the two out back. It's those guys. And on our piece of body armor here, 
slip this guy down and out. Woohoo. Alright, let's pull this guy out here. Yeah, that one came out, no problem. Not bent. But that one in the rear, I don't know about that. Right, let's handle this ball joint nut real quick. Get rid of that guy. Let's see if this side is just as hung up as that other side was, or not hung up. And it's, that one's good. All right, that one's not stuck. Time for the puller. Pulley puller, puller puller. We need the puller. There we go. What's up, man? How you doing? All right, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Okay, just gonna wrench this one out. The other one came out real easy, so it stands to reason that this one should also. It better, because this truck's already killing me. It's not gonna go today, because I've gotta order those bolts, and those are gonna have to come from Ford. Bad mood. There. That wasn't too bad. Okay, that one's out. Now, I need to figure out how to get that last bolt out of there. All right, well, I'm not gonna deny my impact one last opportunity to pull this out. Not a chance. Oh yeah, that, that thing's not, uh, it's not coming out. Nope, it's loose off the, uh, the frame up top, but it's not loose uh, right here. So let's get to chopping. All right, we're gonna need to go around to the outside here to get a good angle on what we're looking at here. So I'm gonna make one cut here and then figure out how to make the second cut on the bottom. This totally could have been done by now. Had, uh, had we not had this bolt situation, very easily could have been done. Could have been in and out, no problem. Easy peasy. Oh well, that's what happens. Begin cutting now, flashlight. It's about halfway through, but I'm kind of running out of space for the saw blade. So what I'm going to do here is uh, take a wrench and turn that bolt 180 degrees and then make another cut from the same position here. Here, we'll come in with a big ratchet wrench. And we'll do this 180 degrees approximately. So there's our 90. There's 180. That'll do. Begin recutting sequence now. Let's get back in there with our blade. There we go, that one's through. I smell rubber cooking. All right, so we're, we're through on the top side. All right, let's get down below. And reposition, we need to take the pole jack, pick, uh, pick this control arm up some, and then we can create a little bit of space between the head of the bolt right there, and we'll make our next cut, like right, right in here somewhere. Let's see, pole jack coming over. Let's go ahead and spin this guy. Actually, let's spin it down first, because it's got little peg here and I can use that peg I think. I think I got enough space for that. Yeah. Right through there. There right, now we've got all these extra threads here to play with. See that? Let's pick her up. Well it's not really what I wanted. I wanted to get this piece to go up some. I'm gonna have to cut through the rubber. Alright. No biggie. Begin saw sequence now. Man, this thing is, this is thick with that extra piece of steel around the bolt. This is the insert inside of the, uh, the bushing that I'm chopping through and the bolt. I'm 
getting the worst noodle arm ever and ruining my my tools it's just a brush motor it can't handle this kind of uh, sustained duration here the bolts out yeah look at that thing wedged in there that wasn't coming out okay so here's what i'm thinking we know this thing's been in a front end collision it's been in enough of a collision to bend those bolts right there so it stands to reason that these uh these ball joints here took a hit so we're going to change these things too these are coming out smoke and there's one bolt these are real easy at this point take two bolts out and things should fall right out should i said should shouldn't have said should but i did do i have to press you out or hammer you out what do we need to do yeah i'll chop these out with a saw too i don't care i think they press out yeah okay well this seemingly easy job is escalating with remarkable speed it's actually quite impressive So we got this flange business here. How am I supposed to press this out with the flange here? Because I can't press against anything. What is happening? Okay. Air hammer time. These should just come right out. Why don't they come out? Get some uh, a little oil in there. Couldn't hurt. All right, coming in. Got the big impact driver. It's pneumatically powered. We go right on the top here. See what happens. It's moving. Still moving. Stop moving. back in more lube yeah get on there
Uh, it's still moving. Dang, the thing's in there tight. Come on, come out. Need to sand off some of this boogered up area right here. Get at it with a big flap wheel. Deburr it some. Again. Okay, that was fun. Never did that before. I don't want to do it again, except for one more time on the other side. Alrighty, let's move over to the driver's side and we're gonna take what we learned with us. That way this might not have to be so difficult. So, figured out the air hammer is the way to go. Let's get our bolts out, pop those guys out of there and then we'll just air hammer this unit out. Um, I'm not gonna hit it with a hammer like I tried before and we're gonna make sure we don't booger up this outside edge because that press fit is so tight. That's where I failed on that other side over there. So I'm just gonna come straight down on it and just hammer the thing out. Okay, just like the other side, we got two Torx bolts here. Let's knock these guys out. There we go. We'll throw a little bit of oil in there just to help us out on the way down. Nice and duplicated like. Hello, darling. Hey. What are you doing? Hi. We can I, see you. I have you. a question for you. All right, hang on. See you guys <laughs> later. All right, we're going in. Let's see what happens here. Knock this last one out, and then we're on a parts hold, I think. Oh, send it. Try to send it. Can't get a good... Just can't get in there properly. Here we go. What is this and why? Trying again. The compressor just shut down, so we got air pressure again. Let's hit her again. See what happens here. Moving. I hit you guys with my hat. <laughs> yeah! 
Got it. Oh man. Woohoo! Got him out. Alrighty folks, I think I'm pretty much kind of dead in the water uh, on this transit van. I did not expect to have to chop off bolts and change ball joints, uh, nor do I have parts here. That stuff's been ordered from the Ford dealership, but I'm not gonna get that today. So I, I'm on a super parts hold. There's really, yeah, there's absolutely nothing else I can possibly do to this truck right now uh, until that stuff arrives. Uh, so that being said, I'm gonna have to close this video out uh, right about now. I wanted to finish this thing today, but that's just not in the cards. So having said that, as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. Certainly hope you enjoyed this uh, consistently escalating pain in the butt video on this Ford Transit. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to let me know about that in the comment section uh, down below. Do not forget to tap that like button while you're down there. And most importantly, have yourselves a fantastic day. See you guys later. Bit deferred in the video, in the day, in the transmission.